Here I will show you how to pair already flashed OBK device with Home Assistant by Automatic Home Assistant Discovery. This tutorial assumes that you have already flashed your device like in our previous videos, so please watch them if you don't have an OBK running already. It also assumes that you already have a working Home Assistant server with MQTT plugin. Let's start with pairing LSPA9 power metering socket. First, I advise you to set some kind of meaningful name for your device. It will make further configuration easier. You can do this in options, then configure name. Then you will need to configure MQTT connection for your device. Get your MQTT password from Home Assistant, click configuration, then devices and services, then in the Mosquito Broker, click Configure, then finally click Reconfigure MQTT. There you can get and copy your MQTT password. In OBK, go to Config, Configure MQTT and there enter correct MQTT information from your Home Assistant. The device topic can be set to whatever you want, but I recommend you to set something describing your device. Make sure that your IP, port, username and password are valid. Save and restart the device. Wait for the device to connect to your MQTT server. You can see the MQTT state on the main OBK page. Then go to Config Home Assistant Configuration and click the Start Home Assistant Discovery. There is also YAML code generator for advanced users, but you don't need it now. As you can see, it's very easy. Now it's time to check if the device is available in Home Assistant. The device has been detached by Home Assistant. Now you can control relay and get power, voltage and current readings on your dashboard. Please remember that for a full set of features, including yesterday's energy consumption, you will need to enable NTP on your OBK device. It's time for a quick test with a mobile phone. Toggling the relay state is working, both from Home Assistant level and from the button on the device. Power consumption history is working as well. As you can see, as soon as you toggle the relay, the Home Assistant updates its graph. This way you get full statistics for your device. Also remember that you can increase the update frequency in OBK. Ok, now you know how the Home Assistant Discovery works in Open Beacon. We could end the video here, but let's try it again with a different kind of device. We will now pair a CCT LED bulb with Home Assistant. It's a bulb that allows you to adjust the temperature of white color. It's using two PWM channels, first one controls cool white, second one controls warm white. Just like before, set the names, set MQTT IP, password, port, client name, reboot, and then go to Config Home Assistant Discovery. As you can see, our LED has appeared on the Home Assistant dashboard. It's time to check if it really works. Turning on and off works, temperature control works as well, and brightness adjustment seems to work as well. So our CCT LED bulb was successfully paired with Home Assistant by the automatic device discovery. It's time for the last example. This time we will pair our custom test device. This device features a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. It has furthermore one relay channel, which was only added for testing purposes. And relay is not connected now to the protoboard. As usual, first we set a device name to something meaningful, then we set the MQTT information, then a mandatory reboot and finally the Home Assistant Discovery. 
Once the Home Assistant discovery is started, a new device appears again in the Home Assistant dashboard. Both temperature and humidity measurements are now available in your dashboard. Let's make one more test. Heat up the dht one sensor with a strong flashing light and look how the temperature rises on the graph. Once the heating is stopped, temperature start dropping down again. Any data from paired OBK devices can be later used to make automations in Home Assistant. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our forums. You can also visit our devices templates and teardowns list. Link is in the video description. See you on Electroda.